Hey y'all, welcome to another uh, another video from Christian Recovery and Open Faith today. My name is Jay, I'm blessed to be here with you guys. Hey, yesterday I made a video and I posted it, it was for schoolwork, and it was talking about missions. But let me tell you why I do not like scripted videos. I sat there and worked for, for several weeks on that video, scripting it, trying to figure out exactly what to say, what, what right to say. And I just don't like doing scripted videos. Let me let me explain why. So tonight, uh, our church happened to have a, a missions meeting, and we were we were meeting, and we had a, a missionary couple come from Albania, and they were meeting with us. And um, man, just stories like what missionaries do, and some of the things that that they're involved in are are just absolutely awesome and I love them and I love what they do and so you know what's funny is is like they they I even knew about the area they were from because I'd spent time in in Kosovo and in Macedonia so they uh they were from Albania and um they run a church there and this is why missions are needed in a country of 2.8 million people, 2.8 million, in the country of Albania, 1% are Christian. And it's a it's a free and open country as far as religion is concerned. So why is there only 1% Christian? This, you know, when when uh, when they first opened the country up, mission missionaries came in by the truckloads and, and were proselytizing and, and evangelizing and, and talking to people and, and but then it dries up after a, a period of time and then you know it's left to the people that are, are left behind to uh, to do what, what God is calling us to do and that's to be a mission to these people to teach them I think they said one of the most profound things this 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 evening as we were meeting with them, and that is, as they would go shopping or doing whatever, when they would finish, they'd get home and they would think about the people that they met that day and know that those people weren't Christians, and they would specifically pray for those individuals. So it's like the missionaries that we we meet in in Al. Albania, the missionaries I know in Costa Rica that are running prison ministries and and ministries to support the f the families and stuff that are in those areas, they absolutely need not just the the Christian support but the the encouragement to live a life of Christ and understand who Christ is. These aren't aren't people that that don't know spiritual realms they just don't know the right spiritual realm they don't know christ and so it, it's up to us to teach them who christ is and it's up to us to help people on the ground there remain there to help evangelize the people that are there so we go and build a team of people and the, t the people stay there and they, they evangelize. The pastor that had came over from, from Albania, they're with the, with the uh, alongside international ministries. And even though they're here in the States, they're trying to gain support and, and people to, to be over there and help them out and everything. They left the team behind to take over and, and and continue ministry while they're gone. And and that's what we need to build up. We we don't need to build a place for us to stay long term. We need to do exactly what Paul did. You know, Paul told us exactly what he was doing. He was writing letters. He was visiting places, but he would build a team of trusted people there to lead and evangelize people into the ministry of Christ. And to be Christ disciples that's what we're all called to do we can't run 
the whole world by ourselves. It takes a team of people to do it. Thank you guys for listening, and, and be blessed out there. And if you have a, a chance to to go on a missions trip or to uh, mi- minister to somebody in your local area, or you have the chance to donate to some place that, that helps uh, those who are underserved or those that need Christians in the area, or Compassion International is another one uh, that has all these kids that need to be... Um, sponsored so if there is is something in your heart that's calling you to do those things go do it and pray about it think about it go do it and that's why we run missions is to see the change in people's life that not us is that we aren't we aren't doing it it's all christ thank you guys for listening hope you guys are here make sure you like and subscribe the video uh subscribe to the channel don't subscribe to the video because that won't do nothing for you but like the video all right see you guys on the next one peace out be blessed